Hey guys, Annie here. I wanted to show you real quick how I do, how I'm doing my um, collar designs for embroidery in Sew What Pro. Um, so I have um, my letters already pulled up just for the sake of time. And this is I Love Glitter in um, one inch font. Um, I do not have them uh, joined together yet. We'll do that at the very end. Um, but I just basically pulled up my font and um, once my font is pulled up I will go up here to this little box that says arrange text on curve and pull it up oh and it tells me that I did not select see I'm getting ahead of myself I'm sorry okay so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab all your letters like this make sure they're all included because you want them all to curve and then you will click arrange on the curve it'll bring up this box and um, i'm pretty sure the first time i brought this box up maybe it was a circle um i can't quite remember um but you can play with it and um curve it however um works best for your shirt um all the shirt collars are different sizes but um this is one that i've played with already and that worked pretty good so um, I'm going to continue to use it. Um, I have my upper set at zero and my lower at 40. Um, you can play with that. I mean, just play with however you feel like it's going to be good on a curve. But it does not have to be perfect at this point. Just as long as we have some kind of curve um, that would go around a collar. That, that's really what we're going for in this box. Um, once I get that, I will push OK. And it'll bring up my design um, like this. Um, this is not how it worked for me last time. Last time, my letters were overlapping. My It just didn't look great. So, that's why we did not join our threads yet. Um, so, at this point, you're just going to um, basically play with the um, letters or whatever you're using here. And you're going to space them however you feel like is good. Um, since we're already here and it already looks good, we're going to move on. Um, I do have it centered on my box, on my hoop. And now I will go up and um, join my threads because um, to me it looks really good. Um, okay, so at this point... Um, we're going to print it off. So take it to the printer and get your, um, your paper. Um, this one was before I've centered it. So, um, obviously I'm not using this one. Um, but, uh, what I did is I, there it is centered on the hoop and I took it and put it on top of the sweatshirt on the curve of the, um, collar how I would like it to be um, and I pinned it down and we'll pin it down for um, for when we're hooping it so it doesn't move um, and on my hoop what I did is I just drew cross lines so that I could see where my center was so that when I put this on the hoop um, I'll know um, everything will line up perfect so I'm gonna throw the hoop on there and then I'll be right back Okay, so now I have my hoop in there, and if, I mean, you can tell that the center and the center don't line up. So, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to move around the sweatshirt and the hoop until uh, my center point of this is the center point of the hoop. So, I want my center points to match. And then I will pin it down um, because I float. Okay, um, as you can tell, my um, lines are lining up pretty good, so I'm going to take off the paper and um, just continue to um, pin down the sweatshirt in, um, this is where the embroidery is going to go, so you want it to be, um, you know, good and tight and not to move while you're embroidering, so I'm going to go pin. Okay, now we have it all pinned into place. And um, I'm going to um, take it to the embroidery machine. 
Okay, now I have it set up on my embroidery machine. Um, I have the design here, and I am um, going to trust the process of lining this up on the um, crosshairs and um, just stitch out because if I do the trace, it's going to um, show me a weird angle because it shows just a rectangle on my machine. Um, some of y'all have fancy machines where it actually shows you exactly where. If you have that, use it. But if not, um, just trust that when you put it on this cross and you've lined it up, that it's going to stitch out good. So I'll be back in six minutes to show you the finish. Okay, here we are all stitched out, still on the machine. Um, and you can tell it is curved so let me pull it off okay here is the finished product um boy mom it's curved nice on the thing um on the collar i'm sorry not the thing but it's curved nice on the collar i think it turned out really great um but yep so that's basically how i do um the curved collars um if you have any questions please drop them below because i would love to help um you guys um out doing this and um this is actually my first video so if you guys want to subscribe um to me i'm going to actually start doing a lot more videos uh, my next one is going to be um the chanel um varsity letters or they're called varsity or um athletic i guess i've been calling them athletic but um just a little sneak peek of some of the ones i've been working on um just to know how to do them on the embroidery machine so um if you um subscribe i will teach you to do that as well so thank you so much for um following along today and if you have any questions please feel free to ask